Hi guys, this is Techzilla. I'm back again with another review. This time we're looking at the official Samsung wireless charger. Now what's different between this and the fast charger and a lot of the other chargers they use like, um, I'll show you this one for example. This is their fast charge convertible one, which can close up like that. This one is a tray style charger. Now I've just bought this. The reason I bought this one was because Apple announced their Airmat wireless charging system. And Samsung have been selling this one for quite a while. So I thought, why not pick this up? Try what Samsung's been using for. I think they've had this for about at least six months to a year. So let's have a look around the box. There's a picture on the front there of the actual charger itself. Got Samsung written there, wireless charger. And let's have a look at the back of the box. So multiple device charging, package contents, wireless charger, travel adapter, which is a 25 watt with the cable, quick start guide. And you can see here, shows you put phone one and phone two on there. It tells you don't misplace it, don't put any credit cards on there. For obvious reasons, the magnetic magnets in the these sort of chargers wipe out the strip on your card. Here's the actual barcode things and I am, well, not I am, um, product codes. So manufactured date was September 2016. So yeah, they've had this for about a year. So nice packaging. My package is a little bit broken because it came through the post. So let's have a look what we got here. Here we have the main charging pad. Let's take this out first. So here's the main charging pad. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Here's the quick start guide and here's a cable. So let's have a look at the quick start guide. Can't imagine this is too taxing, but we'll have a look nonetheless. So A, okay, charger port, fan vent. All right, I'll keep this out. You just make, uh, make it easier to explain it to yourselves, what I'm talking about. Connect the charger to the wireless charge, then place the support mobile device on the wireless charging surface or wireless charging surface to the right. Okay, we'll keep this out and have a look at it. Here's the actual charging cable. It's a USB type C. Now let's get this out and I'll show you. It's a fairly long wire. Let me see roughly what sort of length we're looking at here. Uh, it's about a meter in length or not, um, three foot. I'd say probably about a meter. So it's nice and long. We just straighten it out because it's got that horrible sort of curled up wiggly type thing. Yes, I know it's a bit messy on my desk. Let's get the power brick out of its packaging. So you can see that guys. If you can hear any slight whirring sound in the background, don't worry about it. That is just my computer. I'm rendering a video at the moment. This is the charging brick that comes with the Note 8 or the S8 Plus. So I just wanted to show you the size difference between the two. So you can see they're substantially different in size. You can see that. Very similar, but you can see one's a lot more powerful than the other. So here we have, let's have a look at the two figures. So this is output 12 volts, at 2.1 amps or 9 volts at 1.67 amps or 5 volts at 2 amps. This one's 9 volts at 1.67 amps or 5 volts at 2 amps. So this is a standard brick that comes with your Galaxy phones. This is a big, bigger brick that comes with this. So they say this gives out 25 watts of charge. So how true that is, I don't know. It's probably pretty accurate. Let's move this out here. Now let's take this off all you crazy people. There we go. Chuck that in the box, because we don't need that. Put that down here. Now let me show you around this. You've got a US, 
USB charging port here. So anything you've got that isn't hasn't got wireless charging capability, you can just plug your charging cable in here and charge it as if it's wired. That's the input. So you plug this cable, the charging cable into this. You can see here there's vents here. So this has got fans built into it to keep it cool while it's charging. So you've got one at the back and one on each side, nothing on the front. These are your two individual charging lights, one for each wireless charger. So if we look at the top, so you can see here, you've got this charging surface here and you've got another one here. Now you, Samsung sell some wireless speakers which will sit on here and you can actually charge them on here. What I like about this is because I keep two phones as my daily driver. So I've got an iPhone 8 Plus, for example, and a Note 8. I can ch wirelessly charge both at the same time, which is a godsend for someone like me. Um, I don't think this gives the fast wireless charging, but we'll give it a go anyway. So let me plug all this up real quick. Pretty nice, straightforward. We've got an extension cord down here. So let me plug that in and put this in the back right here because it's a USB-C. Now what I suggest is you use the actual cable and plug that comes with it because it needs that extra power to charge. So if you, I'll pull this out again and plug it back in so you can see the lights on the front. See them flashing? Just to indicate that they're ready to charge. So now let me bring in my Note 8 and my iPhone 8 Plus. Um, one other thing I want to mention actually before we go any further. Can you see how it's got this weird kind of curve here? It's flat here, then it curves down onto here. I think that's because you can put one of Samsung's wireless charging speakers on here, which is a nice thing. So if you've got one of their speakers, it's definitely worth getting. So if I drop the iPhone 8 Plus on there, you can see it instantly starts charging and it's charging away. Now let me drop my Note 8 on the other side and it's instantly charging. Uh, 48 minutes to wirelessly charge it. It's at 78% at the moment. So it's 48 minutes until fully charged. So it's not got fast wireless charging, but it will slow charge your devices, which is pretty good. I mean, you can see the two charging lights here. Now when, when your Samsung device is fully charged, the light will turn green. Unfortunately, because this is an iPhone, it won't, that will still stay blue, but it won't turn green, but it will charge it to completion. So I really like that feature. And as you can see the charging light up here, the red charging LED on the Note 8 is on, indicating that it's charging as well as these two lights. So this is a lovely setup on a desk. If you like me, you've got two chargeable devices. So let me bring in my Gear S3 watch. Let's see if that charges. Right, here's my Gear S3 Frontier watch. I'm pretty sure this won't charge on here, but I'll try it anyway. Put that on there. See that light's flashing? Because it's not charging. It will not charge this, I'm pretty sure. There's no charging indicator on here. Let me try it on this pad, see if that makes a difference. No, nope. see it flashing away. So if you've got a Gear S3, classic or Frontier, it doesn't matter. This will not charge it. Let me try positioning it a different way, maybe. There seems to be a slight magnetic pull on here. No, it will not charge it for love nor money, which is a shame, really. It would be a nice addition if it could but it can't, that's life. What I would probably do is, let me just bring in my charging dock for my, let's give it a blow. 
you could probably put that there connect a short USB cable from here to this port at the back plug this in here to charge that stick one phone there stick the other phone there and that's a nice little cradle so you could probably do that and if you have a short enough cable from here to the back of that let me see um, something like this short cable so you don't have cables everywhere going from let me try actually while I've got you guys here let's try and use that plug this in plug that in there and let me just put this in the back here you could probably tie this up there so it's not moving around you can see the watch is now charging on its own little stand but it is fully charged up so I'll show you that again oh. I think because it's fully charged it's not going to recharge it here are those notifications Put this here again and drop this back here so you could have a nice setup like that somewhere on your desk or your bed nightstand or whatever and have all of this charging at the same time have it like that and nice nice combination is this plugged in properly? No, that's better. Sorry guys, my mistake. That wasn't plugged in properly. So that's a beautiful setup there, right there. Let me pick this up for you to look at. So you could have it like that. As I said, have this wire tucked in underneath there, whatever. Get an even shorter wire if you want. So there you have it guys. Two phones charging at the same time and your smartwatch lovely little desk companion love it if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you didn't it doesn't matter i live to fight another day but definitely share this video on all your social media because it'll help me out and helps the channel grow i will leave a link down below where i got this wireless charging pad from so you can definitely if you're interested in buying it use that link because it helps the channel out because i get a little bit of commission from it, it doesn't cost you anything extra um, but it also the prices on the links i give you they get adjusted so you can see you know the cheapest prices at the time you know so if this drops in price it'll be reflected in my links so there you have it guys this is techzilla saying take care I'll see you all again real soon. And just before I go, let me tell you this. I've got all the official Samsung Galaxy Note 8 cases in, so I'm reviewing them next. I've got the Tech 21 case in for the Note 8. I've also got in um, all the UAG cases for the Note 8, the iPhone X and or iPhone 10, should I say iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, I've also got in some of the best leather cases for the iPhone 8 Plus as well. I mean, look at that beautiful case. Real leather, beautifully made. Look at that. It's a little bit expensive, but beautiful nonetheless. You can't complain about the quality of Vaja cases. Absolutely love them. Look at that. So, definitely hit that notification button there or the bell icon subscribe and thumbs up so look after yourself guys i'll see you all real soon peace